Hi there, I'm Ontario Ombudsman Paul Dubé, and I'm pleased to tell you about our latest annual report. The past year has been one of the busiest ever for my office. We received more than 27,000 complaints, and that's an increase of over 30% from last year. We receive complaints about just about every part of the public sector, from Ontario government agencies, to municipal services, to school boards and universities. And as usual, almost all of these were resolved informally. But we also conducted some major investigations, and our recommendations for positive change were accepted. Now on top of all that, as of May 1st, our office took on two new responsibilities, French language services and children and youth in care. This report is full of examples of how our work benefits the people and institutions of Ontario. We visited jails across the province where we found some unacceptable conditions and got them fixed. One jail was triple bunking female inmates in cells built for two, even though a large section of the jail was empty. Another housed two inmates in a change room so small that they couldn't even lie down. We received thousands of complaints about the Ontario Cannabis Store when it first opened. Our staff worked closely with them to help customers. Like the woman whose cannabis delivery was just left on her porch without anyone signing for it. Or the man who received an empty box and was told to mail it back to get a refund. We revealed a serious systemic problem with driver's license suspensions. Many drivers had no idea that their license was suspended because they never received a notice of their unpaid fine. We helped hundreds of people with social services in the Family Responsibility Office, like the man who paid child support for 14 years, unaware that his daughter was in the care of a children's aid society, and the cancer patient who was almost evicted because her disability support check was late. We helped people who were slapped with unfair trespass orders by municipalities and school boards, like the man who was even banned from public sidewalks, or the woman who was banned from dropping her daughter off at school. We also helped a disabled student get $9,000 of financial aid and we helped a Tesla owner get a $7,000 environmental rebate. And a dad who registered his baby's name with his smartphone and ended up with a misspelled birth certificate thanks to autocorrect. Check out these stories and more in our annual report on our website. And as always, if you have a complaint or a question, contact us to find out how we can help.